All right, guys, let's script it so that when we're outside in the weather, we get damaged, but when we're inside the sphere, we don't, so that we want to move towards the middle. So I'm going to come over here uh, to my gameplay, and I need to get into my base character. So remember, that's in content, blueprints, and character, and double-click to open up your base character. And now what you do is you're just going to find some open space here to work with. Now I'm going to start by creating all my custom events, just like I've done in the past. I think that's the easiest way to understand this. So I'm going to right-click. I'm going to say Add Custom Event. There it is. And let's zoom in. And this is just going to be apply weather damage. Okay. Boom. Just like that. And I'm going to move up here. And now I'm going to right click and add another custom event. Custard event. Not a custard event. A custom event. And I'm just going to call this player outside circle or sphere. We'll say sphere. There we go, player outside of sphere. And then we're gonna make one, can you guess what it is? Yeah, player out inside of sphere. So add custom event and uh, player inside sphere. Perfect, just like that. Now I'm gonna come back down to uh, this one right here. And uh, let's go ahead and script off of this some applying of damage. So apply damage, that's that built-in one that affects our players. And I'm going to say the amount of damage that I want them to be affected is, uh, we'll say 10. Okay, just like that. Oh, I'm sorry, not yet. Well, we can do 10. 10 is fine. All right, so uh, for my player outside of Sphere, you know what? I have to add an input to that. So I'm going to select that and I'm going to click on that. And I need to tell, I need to know what the damaged actor is. So damaged, oops, click over here, damaged actor. Okay, basically which player is going to be damaged. And we need to change that um, to our actor. So I'm going to say actor and we'll say reference, object reference. Okay, I hovered over it, object reference. There we go. And uh, we're going to drag off of here and we're going to say set timer by function name. Okay, that because once we're outside in once we're outside the sphere, every we'll say every certain amount of uh, certain amount of seconds, then it this timer will fire off and cause damage, and then the certain amount of time will go by again. This will fire off and cause more damage until we get back and turn this timer off. Okay, so the function name will be apply weather damage, apply weather, and it has to be spelled exactly damage. Let me just zoom in so you guys can see that. Apply weather damage. And we want to say every three seconds, it's going to apply weather damage. And this will be on a looping. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this damaged actor. We need to tell it, okay, what is the damaged actor that we want to be, or what is the actor that we want to be causing damage? Okay. And that'll be the player that's outside. And then what we're going to do is we're going to clear the timer. So if they actually come back into the sphere, uh, into the into this the yeah into the sphere we want to turn off the timer so I'm going to say uh, clear and invalidate clear and invalidate timer by handle and all we have to do is take this right here and hook it up to this just like that and we'll compile that all right so right now we have that working so that it's detecting um, some overlapping events now these are just custom functions we have to actually get that we have to program the sphere to generate those events if our actor goes inside or outside. And that can be done on the sphere itself. So I'm just going to save that, go back to my weather sphere right here, go to the event graph, okay? And uh, then what I'm going to do is find some open space. I'm going to select my static mesh and I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to use the preset ones that they have in there. So on component begin overlap, okay, I'm going to click the plus. And it'll add it right in there for me. Okay. And now what I can do is I'm going to drag off of this and I'm going to say cast to base character. So cast to base character because we want to access that in that we want to access what we just did in the base character. There it is, cast to base character. And we want to feed in the other actor. The other actor is my player. So we're going to feed that information in, into there. And then we're actually going to call that player inside circle. Player inside sphere. Ah, circle, we did new circle, we did sphere. And then I'm going to connect this up to this. 
just like that. Boom. All right. So now my my player will be able to recognize when an overlapping event occurs and be able to apply damage to uh, to itself on the server. OK, and I'm now I'm going to say um, when the, you end the overlap. OK, so outside when you move outside, that begins the overlap. When you move back inside, it ends the overlapping event. OK, so uh, let's go to the static mesh again. And now I'm going to look for um, on event end or on component end overlap, just like that. And let's move this over. And now I'm going to do something similar where I'm going to cast to my base character. Cast to base character. There it is. And um, we're going to say other actor, just like that. And now what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and say player um, is outside sphere. There we go. And we're going to connect this up to the target. And we can actually just connect this up to the damage actor. So if they're outside the sphere, oh, sorry, they're inside the sphere, no damage. If they're outside the sphere, they're going to get damaged. I'm going to double click that and make this a little bit easier. So hover over so it's kind of glowing. Double click. And then it just adds quickly a new node. All right. So let's go ahead and give it a test. And to give it a test, what I'm going to do is pause it and I'll come when I'm near the end of the circle and I'll show you. Okay, I'll be right back. All right, here we are. I'm going to switch back in there and okay, I'm outside. Did you see it just shrink past me? Oh, and I just have some damage. Now I go back inside. Let's see if it'll uh, cause me any more damage. No, I'm not getting any more damage because I'm inside. So it should shrink more. And uh, if I'm outside, there we go. I'm outside. Now the timer starts and I should start to take damage. Boom. I'm in, I'm taking damage. I'm taking damage. I'm still taking damage. Uh Oh, I need to get back inside the circle for in order for the damage to stop. Pretty cool, huh? That's all it takes. All right. So uh, now all the players, they have to stay inside the circle or they will get some damage. All right. So go ahead. Uh, have some fun uh, scripting your sphere, your weather sphere to cause your players some damage. And I will see you in the next session.